English okay. exams. Number one, tell the story of the twelfth night. The twelfth night. Okay, so I uh, know Orsino, the Duke of Illyria, was uh, in love with Olivia, but Olivia did not like his suit, and I uh, know the death of Olivia's brother made her mourn, and so she kind of said that she would stay seven years in her in her house without talking to anyone. Okay, um, besides that, oh, yeah, I think we need props. We need, let's just get them. Okay. We need some. Okay. So, ano. Wait lang, I just need. Where is, ano, where is Sebastian? Okay. So, Viola and Sebastian, they were, ano, they were... They were kind of in a ship, like a shipwreck. What are they? Well, they are twins. Okay. They were in, uh, no, like kind of like a shipwreck, and Viola thought Sebastian died, and Sebastian thought Viola died. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. So, um, when Viola, I uh, know, kind of like heard of Orsino and stuff, she dressed like a man. And she went to Orsino, like, ano, hoping that she would kind of be accepted as a page. So, yeah, um, Viola's boy name was, uh, Cesario. So, um, <coughs> okay, so, as, I don't know, Cesario or Viola, let's just call him Cesario. So, Cesario was when uh, no, like when Orsino was talking with uh, no, Cesario he told all that uh, no, that all things that would ha that happened and how uh, no, he was always like feeling alone stuff you know <coughs> but um Viola she she had pity for him which became ano became uh, which became pity for him which became love then ano um, Arsino asked Viola ano like who he, who she loves and ano uh, Viola said that it was, I uh, know, like, who she loves. And Viola said it was he. The person that she loves is like him. Then, I uh, know. Orsino asked what age. You know, like, kind of what age. Viola said, I uh, know, like, as old as you. Then, as old as thou. That's, that's working out, yeah. Then Orsino said, ah, old. Okay. Old. Um. You shall, Anna. Uh, you shall let her have, like, her own age. Then let her kind of marry you. Something. Yeah. Okay. He said something like that. Okay. So. Orsino said, though, what kind of like complexion? Viola said the complexion was like his. Then Orsino said, know, like, how, like, um, I don't remember what he said, but I think Viola said anonymous or something. Yeah. So, <coughs> Orsino begged Viola to go to Olivia. But, ano, then she finally surrendered. And so she went to Olivia, and, and while she was, when she was at Olivia's, and Malvolio, Malvolio, 
and then he kind of like asked who she was looking for and she said that she was looking for Olivia but Olivia couldn't really come back because she was kind of in vain but finally Olivia surrendered so she came out and then Olivia then she she liked Cesario and kind of yeah she liked Cesario and um uh, yeah and uh, they just spoke but Olivia didn't want to see Orsino so ano uh, Cesario kind of had to leave then he came back to Orsino but ano uh, Orsino was sad because there was kind of no news and ano uh, a few days kind of passed Orsino begged Viola to Visit Olivia again. <coughs> why does why why does his chin look like that? To visit Olivia again. <coughs> but Viola Anna could not. But Anna she had to. She she did. So Anna when she visited Anna Olivia Olivia couldn't Anna hold her. <laughs> couldn't hold her ano, her secret that she loved Cesario so she had to say it but ano Sir Andrew Egg was jealous so he wanted to fight Viola but oops Viola was not a fighter so she wanted to leave but Sir Toby uh, no he just wanted to fight her but ano she she kind of she kind of had to go because she was definitely scared to kind of go back to to Orsino and Sebastian Sebastian <laughs> he came at the perfect time and ano and he and he hiya and another hiya Sebastian ano hiya Sir Adjutic and Sir Toby okay. hiya <laughs> and ano Olivia he quite, she they her and Sebastian got married and ano Orsino heard about this when she he kind of went to Olivia with Cesario and ano um, these guys were very afraid of her because yeah and then when he heard about that um, Sebastian and Olivia were married um, um, he was about to uh, kill Viola but ano um, Sebastian came out like Oh, I am sorry, I hurt them, and blah, 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 blah. Then Orsino was like, ah! Two faces. Wait, one face. Two voice. I one voice. Two people. <laughs> then someone who knew Sebastian said, they are twins. And Sebastian said, But I didn't have a brother. I had a sister. Then ano, Viola admitted that she was Viola and a girl. And yeah, so um, this was surprising. And Orsino, uh, he became to love, Olive, to love Viola. And he said that she should be his queen, his, no, his wife. And Olivia found a good husband in, no, in Sebastian. And Sebastian found a good, a good wife in Olivia. The end. Okay. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, narrate one Greek myth. One. That you learned this term. One. one. Yes. 
I'm gonna go with Echo and Narcissus. Okay. Why not? This story is pretty interesting. Okay. What was the first story we read about the? the for this term, we only had two. No, the first one, as in for not this term. Oh, the gift of Athena. Oh yeah. Okay. So um, this Greek myth led us. Um, uh, narrated so echo with narcissus <clears throat> so zeus would spend most of his time with some of these nymphs these nymphs were very beautiful zeus ba ah zeus yeah it's okay. zeus because i know his wife juno okay uh, she was very, she was kind of like the god of punishment. <laughs> yeah, so, um, he would spend his time mostly with the nymphs, but okay. Juno, who was jealous, she was, I don't know, going to, like, get the nymphs. Okay. She was going to, like, get the okay. nymphs. And so, I don't know, as Echo, she was very talkative. She would talk and talk to Juno for distracting so that the other nymphs could go away. They could leave. Yeah, so. But then Juno, I uh, know. Juno could, I uh, know, like, leave. But, uh, no. when he, when she realized that it was a trap, she, I uh, know, she kind of put a curse on Echo. And what? Whatever, whatever, what Echo would, she, Echo would not really say anything anymore, but she could say something. <laughs> At the last word of, a, of the last sentence of what a person says. So, um, yeah, and she was now cursed. But her friends would usually call out to her and speak with her, but she couldn't, I know, she couldn't reply, but yeah. So one time, she saw a, a beautiful, I know, beautiful nymph, but it's a man nymph. And, I know, kind of fell in love with him. And... <coughs> She fell in love with him and um, when Narcissus went, yeah, Narcissus went hunting, she kind of followed him because she saw him in the woods and he was lost because his friends kind of left him. So she followed him and she followed him kind of to a some water and well um she couldn't come out yet because she was still kind of shy then you know she would repeat every word that narcissus would say but no one was there so narcissus was yeah, kind of like that so um so wait i got this okay Okay. So she finally came out, and when she confessed her love to Narcissus, he rejected her, kind of pushed her back. But I uh, know. So she was kind of heartbroken, and so she, he also got a punishment from Juno. And. Um, his punishment is that he fell in love with himself. Well, you think that's not bad? It is bad. It is. <laughs> it's bad because, and uh, when he looked into water, when he looked into water, he fell in love with himself. And when he realized it was his reflection, he was, ah! and then he kind of disappeared. Then he became a flower because. Uh, he was so beautiful that the gods were just pity for him. Gods and goddesses had pity for him. And Echo, yes, she also disappeared. 
only her shadow is left. Well, yeah, and uh, no, like whenever you would say something like loud or something, you know, like, echo, 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 it would make an echo, like echo, 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 <laughs> like that. Okay, so um. That's all. Yeah. That's all I remember. Okay. Tell what happened to little Christian while he was at the palace beautiful. I I I forgot something. Narcissus is also daffodil. Dun 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 Okay. okay. Uh, I will repeat Narcissus the question. at the palace beautiful. Tell what happened to little Christian at while he was at the palace beautiful. Okay, so he got his armor got his armor to protect himself when he on the last day and he was brought to many places like the library he saw many pictures like the guardian angel guardian angel was who did she who did he meet at the palace oh, beautiful oh okay mm. um discretion watchful piety prudence and charity so the guardian angel was charity's favorite picture he also saw some more pictures with David. Wait, oh yeah, uh, David and then Samuel listening to his mother, Moses as a baby, and more stuff. Uh, before he was scared of the lions because yeah, he was kind of scared of them because <laughs> he thought they were and uh, they were going to kind of eat him. But when he passed through, they didn't even, I uh, know, they didn't even, oh, they didn't even touch him. <laughs> but, and then, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's all I remember. Yeah. Aside from Little Christian, who among the characters in the Little Pilgrim's Progress we met this term do you like most? This and term? why? Yes. Of all mm. the characters we read about this term i would do faithful okay why because i uh, know faithful he is very i uh, know he's kind of very kind and very nice and um i would like to have him as a companion to go to the celestial city oh yeah and my least favorite character is self because he tried to kill the main character christian 